All right. Let's share my screen with you and share share with you what I was working on. Can you see? I can now, yes. So we're doing the uh That looks like that hurts. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. I see what's going on there. <laughs> So I, figured, I was playing around with this, and I figured that uh, when he looks down, what I've done with the um, piece is actually shift shift the head this way. Yeah. Oops. Did that on the wrong frame. So shift the head that way. And in theory... If you were to look up instead, I would shift the other way. In fact, where's his head? So if he was coming from down here to up, Yeah, I'll just kind of exaggerate that a little bit. Maybe even have to rotate it just a little and then shift. But one thing I noticed is um even when I went back in and I and I turn I turned off my drawing substitutions, the lines are still there. Which is weird. And of course, if I jump into the area here, I can see exactly how everything's set up. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm going to jump over to your screen. Let's see how our guest is doing. Since we don't have a name for her yet. Do you remember how to share your screen? Oh, no. Uh, how do I do that? Sorry. Um... On the right hand side of yeah, the window? Yep. Got it. Screen one. Is it sharing? It is. Okay. That would be the front here. Now we can break up parts of like this area here um, so it can be a little more natural. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. Not bad. Um, the extra lines there. The highlights. Yeah. Be careful, and because um, if you look at a lot, what a, the, a lot of things I'm noticing, it's not. It's not a lot of those lines. You'd see maybe the big bold line, but it's not a lot of detail. That's that's too much. Okay. Be easy to remedy. Boop. Because I was trying to remember the, uh, I think I'd sent you the, uh, where we looked at the, the young lady in the combat boots. If you look, she has this one highlight. Where are you getting your colors from? From my brain. Your brain. <laughs> See. Now that line is cool. If that makes any sense? Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's it's 
it's like you can it's what's that word of you're almost taking a uh a black blood white approach to this like it's like picking what lines you're you're throwing in um and just the, that one line will be more powerful than a whole bunch of lines if it's if it's the right line yeah not that I need you to worry about it, but I think I'll, I'll probably pull a um, a public domain palette for this. I don't like that. I think there's probably going to be, I could easily see a follow-up uh, hangout for this where we're rigging the head. But I think for this one, I'm going to keep her pretty simple and just rig the body. Um, she might, she might, um, I don't know, probably draw, draw a weapon into a really cool pose or whatever. Mm-hmm. So let's go to another drawing. Let's go hair. Back, back hair. That's that's nice. <laughs> All right, so here's our back hair, and we'll do behind the front, and then we'll go to my this color, and I probably have to revise this, but. If we can draw it in. Like that. That reminds me, I need to go look at um <clears throat> what's her face? Uh I think her name is Erin from the Esurance commercials. Yeah. That was that was a beautiful puppet. Yep. There we go. So let's see. Let's go to the face. Her eyes aren't too detailed, are they? No, they're not. Quite frankly, I may, um, I think if we do anything with this uh, character on a more permanent basis, I may go in and do the uh, the trick for the avatar style eyes. Did you ever see that tutorial I did? I uh, can't remember. Well, um, the avatar, the, the animated series, I, I kept looking at thinking their eyes look really cool. And I was looking at um, a possible way of knowing them and it's a, you're using, I think it's six circles in all, maybe, or four. It's somewhere between four and six. But um, it has this really cool look to it as if you spent a lot more time on the eyes. Got to put the mouth on a different layer. Well, yes. Let's see. You're not going to turn on your light table, or you just you already know what you're doing. I can turn on my light table. There she is. I just can see it better without it. Ah. <laughs> I'm being that annoying client that's over your shoulder. That's fine. Well, I don't know what's going on. I'm sure I'm doing all kinds of things that would uh, <laughs> probably have to do a lot easier if I, I knew the knew the way. Let's see. Here. Now, I don't need to draw her flesh up in here. Well, if we do the eyes separate. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, sorry, never mind.
She has a beautiful bald head. That's right. And let's, uh, there we go. But yeah, eventually the, um, the eyes themselves, like the, the, the little big green eyeball aspect of it will probably be on a different layer. And um, I think when we do, when we do the rigging, when we do the head rigging, um, I'll use the, that little cutter trick. Uh, okay, cool. Wait a minute. And you're you're working in eleven, right? Uh, eleven point one, yes, sir. I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Um, probably now ish. <laughs> Save out what you have. Um, save this version out and send it to me. I'm gonna make sure that we're not gonna catch any. Um, make sure we can talk back and forth in a way. I don't think it would, actually. Let me rephrase that. Not back and forth, but make sure what you're building can okay. open up here. Let me do our mouth and then I'll send it to you. Save. Coolness. Sleep all right? Say again. Sleep okay? Did I sleep okay? I think I did. Was I yawning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting up here trying to think of the, a name of what she would be. Not that it matters, but it does. Like maybe she's not shiny booty, but perhaps she's the uh, she's the bounty hunter that's trying to trying to chase her like, throughout the galaxy. <laughs> oh, yeah. shiny booty sounds like a a bad uh, James Bond girl name. <laughs> Oops. I don't want to do that. But yeah, I'm thinking uh, that whole there's a there's a particular style like for shiny beauty I'm thinking about there's a particular style with like the uh parliament funkadelic little cartoons and comics. As with always, I tend to get a little more detailish, I'm sorry. Yes. And sometimes it's good. <laughs> um, right. There, I mean, cl case in point, there's a there's a an animated version of uh, the of uh, animated series with Doctor Seuss, and they've taken the cat in the hat, and it's this beautiful. It's like they took the um, these beautiful inked drawings the way the cat in the hat is drawn in in the book. But they're doing limited cutout animation with them, and then bending and and warping it, and it looks very wrong. Hmm. Um, it's it's too much detail, and you're and you know it's if you're going to do that, then you should have done it frame by frame. But because they're trying to cut corners, it all of a sudden looks wrong. What makes a lot of the cutout stuff work is it being simplified. All right. Where's her hair? Let's move her hair. Hair front. Oops, we don't want a parent. Thank you. There we go. Covers her wonderful uh, facial structure there. And that one, <clears throat> one big part. Leave the hair in the back. Oh, excuse me. Eyes. Mouth, brows, hair front, save. 
we lose that definition on her cheek and uh, her brow right there with this hair piece with this hair uh, mass well be... i'm curious about one particular thing yeah and maybe this is me watching too much uh star versus the forces of evil right move her eyes ahead of her hair Trying to. Dang it. Do what I say. Nope. There we go. Turn off the light down. There we go. Can you zoom in for a minute, please? Your thoughts. Let's move her eyebrow up there. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm liking that. Um, my only other thing, and this is uh this might be a comeback to it later thing. Um, I like the idea of the back of the hair. But in theory, the front, especially those uh, the two the two uh, more pronounced bangs in the yeah. front, um, those could easily be on a different layer. Yeah, the, this one here. Yeah, and maybe this one here. Not that well. Yeah, the the back one, and then the the, the one that's at the. Oh, you mean this one? Nope, that one's fine. Keep that one in the back. Okay. Yes, right. the, the two front. Two front there. Okay. Like maybe, it's like I wish I could control your mouse for a minute. Okay, <laughs> so at the very beginning, you have the you have the front, the front, the very front um, piece. There's like three spikes or three tails. One, two. You have one here and one here. Yeah. Well, where's the where's the one in the middle? This one right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the one in the middle. I would connect that with the the one that's actually in the back, okay, and make that that one layer, right? Gotcha. And then the one in the front is a layer, and the one the third one is a layer. Okay, so and so that's basically you'd have you already have the back hair, and there's a front hair, then there's the two the two bangs. Got it. Bang one and bang two. <laughs> I love banging back here now. So yeah, I think that's gonna that's gonna be pretty pretty hot. Okay, I can do that. Save it. I'll send it to you so you can test it out. Coolness. I'm probably going to go in um, when and test it out, but I also want to go in and play around with some color. Um, and I think because for me, maybe it's just me. I think the um, Pulling colors from uh, classic comics and stuff like that, it gives it a much richer look to it. That's fine. You can change the palette all you want. I'll just go from your palette. <laughs> Why? Thank you. I'll go from your palette, not your back hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the broadcast. Only.